Welcome to this short video that's going to explain to you all the planning that we've been doing to welcome you safely back to Coombe School from Monday the 15th of June. Before we do that though I think it's important that you just pause and ask yourself how are you feeling? It's going to have been a couple of months now since you've been in school, hopefully you've been working hard at home but I imagine most of us have had ups and downs during that time and that's perfectly normal. Some of you might be feeling quite excited about coming back to school, happy to be into some sort of normal routine. Others of you might actually be quite nervous, a little bit scared even. So however you're feeling, remember that we're here to help you and you can contact your tutor before the start of school to have a chat about how things are going, if that will help. You should know by now that we've been told that Year 10 and Year 12 can return to school from Monday the 15th of June on a part-time basis. What that means is we will contact you and tell you which day of the week you should be in school. Now you don't have to come into school and your family won't be fined if they choose for you to stay at home. But we hope that most of you will want to come into school and meet your teachers and catch up with some work. On the days that you're not in school, you should carry on continuing with the work that will be set on class charts as you have been doing for the last few weeks. We believe that it is safe to come back to school in the way that we are planning, but it's really important that everybody sticks to the rules. You must stay with your bubble, that small group of pupils that will be in your classroom. You're going to have your own zone which you must stay in. And it's so important that you don't try and mix with friends or in other bubbles. You need to be responsible for your own social distancing, staying two metres apart from everywhere. Please also stay at home if you have the slightest suspicion that you might have symptoms of COVID-19. If that is the case, please seek and then follow medical advice. In terms of getting to school, Government advice is that you walk or cycle if you can. Of course, you need to observe social distancing, staying two metres apart from others. If you choose to arrive by car, ask your parent or carer to drop you off in either Charn Hill Way or Furzat Avenue. But do ask them to part with consideration. And remember that our neighbours are often quite elderly and they're not going to have seen you for many weeks, so please be quiet. If you have to use a public bus, then follow the driver's instructions about social distancing and remember that government has advised that you wear a face covering. When you arrive at school, you will be met by a teacher at the main gate and they will remind you to go straight to the classroom assigned to your bubble. Now, you need to understand that school is going to be very different. You won't be in your normal classes. You're not going to be taught by your normal teachers. Rather, you're going to be grouped into small bubbles of about 11 pupils and each bubble will have its own entrance, classroom, toilets and outdoor space. It's probably a good time to pause this video and have a look at the information on the table below. As I've said, school is going to be very different and we need you to help us keep everybody safe. Please sanitise your hands every time you enter or leave the classroom assigned to your bubble. Inside the class, you must stay at the own desk that's been given to you. You must not share any equipment. And remember that you need to stay two metres apart. And that includes your teacher. So if you need help, put your hand up and they will speak to you, but from a distance. We can't provide you with a normal timetable in order to keep you safe and with social distancing. So we've decided that you're going to have slightly longer lessons split up into short sections. You can have English, Maths and Science, which will be taught by teachers from those departments. You'll also be able to go to G6 and work on PCs with a teacher to help you on your option subjects. As you can see in the table, we've split each of the lessons apart with a 20 minute break. 
in those break times, we'd encourage you to go outside and get some fresh air. However, you can't play football, basketball, etc. because of the risk of infection from the virus being on the balls. If it is raining, you can stay in your classroom. What's really important is to remember you cannot mix with friends in other bubbles. We understand that this is going to be difficult for you, but we need you to follow the rule. We would also ask you to visit the toilet and wash your hands every break time, whether or not you actually need to use the loo itself. Now, in order to stay safe, we've made a decision to close the canteen and the dining hall. Wherever possible, we would ask that you bring your own drinks, snacks and packed lunch into school. If you can't do that, then we will have a limited offer of packed lunch grab bags that you can order during period one and that we deliver to your classroom. And if you're someone who's eligible for a free school meal, we will provide you a similar packed lunch grab bag in that way. We believe that it's best for you to wash your clothes each time you've been in school, but also say have a shower as soon as you get home. And to make that a little bit easier for you, we've decided that for the rest of this summer term, you don't have to wear school uniform. Please dress sensibly with something that's going to be easy to wash. And just so that you know, it's perfectly okay to wear shorts and sandals if the weather is hot. Now I've already said that you mustn't share equipment. That means each of you needs to be responsible for bringing in your own equipment. Make sure you've got several pens with you, pencil, ruler, uh, and that you've got all those things in a bag along with that packed lunch food and snacks. We know that over the last couple of months, you've probably got used to having your phone with you most of the time and through the day. I'm sure it's been an important way of staying in touch with your friends when you've been unable to see them face to face. But we're back in school now and you need to understand that our phone free zones will still apply. If a member of staff sees or hears your phone, they will ask you to hand it over. Now remember, it's going to be much more difficult for a parent or carer to come and collect your phone at the moment. So I really would encourage you as soon as you get into school, Turn your phone off, put it in your bag and leave it there until the end of the day. Now we hope none of you are going to get ill or feel or get hurt while you're at school. But if you do, tell a teacher. There is always going to be a first aider on site to help if there's an emergency. And if you suspect that you have COVID-19 symptoms, tell your teacher and we will arrange for you to be isolated and then sent home. If you think you have COVID-19, do not come to school. That's so important to keep us all safe. Instead, you should tell your parent and carer and ask them to help you seek medical advice, which you should then follow. Now, it's very unlikely that the fire alarm will sound, but if it does, we're going to try and do the same thing as we normally would. And that is follow the instructions of staff, remain calm, walking sensibly to the basketball courts. Try and stay apart from one another as you do that, but the need to get out of the buildings if they're on fire is much more important than social distancing. When you get to the basketball courts, there are new uh, spots on the ground that are further apart than normal, and we're simply gonna ask you to use those to line up with the other students in your bubble, of course, keeping two meters apart. Now, many of you will be asking, when will school get back to normal? When are the other years going to come in? When will we have our normal timetabled lessons? And I'm really sorry to say that at the moment, I simply do not know yet. What we will do is follow government advice and we'll make sure that along with other West schools, we open up to our other year groups when it is safe to do so. In the meantime, teachers will set work online and we're working hard to increase the amount of face-to-face uh, -face lesson content through Microsoft Teams, as we've had lots of positive feedback from you with our trials around that. If you do have any questions, 
then please use email. If it's about a subject, then contact your teacher. If it's something more general about how you're feeling or your well-being, perhaps you've got an anxiety about coming into school, then drop your, e uh, your tutor an email. If it's something more general, then use office at kindeen.co.uk. And just as a final reminder, all staff emails are the first initial of their first name, followed by their surname and at coomdean.co.uk. So if we had a teacher called Mr Joe Bloggs, his email would be j.bloggs at coomdean.co.uk. Please do re-watch this video, read the frequently asked questions that we've posted on the website and make sure that you are prepared to come in for your first day of school one day of the week beginning Monday the 15th of June. We look forward to welcoming you back.